Hey, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Today's video is going to talk to you a little bit about basic card design and how to take basic card design and go beyond, which is the subject of my class, Basics and Beyond. So this will give you a little bit of an idea of what you'll find inside that classroom. We're using the Love Notes stamp set today, and you can see I just took that large um, music note stamp, stamped it right across in early espresso, did the little greeting below it, did some matting, and then I took sticky strip put it across here and then covered it in glitter. So it's a pretty basic card, right? It's adorable. There's so many different possibilities for this card layout as I show you in the Basics and Beyond class. But now I want to show you how to go beyond that. I have a piece of watercolor paper and this is what I'm gonna use instead of that main layer. I cut it originally this same size, but I'm gonna cut off about three quarters of an inch on both sides. It's gonna give us just a slightly smaller layer there. Next, I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to turn it sideways. I have my stamp all ready to go and I'm going to ink it with Versamark ink because I am going to heat emboss it. You want to take an embossing buddy. A few friends of mine told me it's time for a new emboss embossing buddy. This is what happens when your dog gets up to it and <laughs> uses it like a chew toy. Oh. Instead of just stamping it with an ink color like I did on the first one, I'm stamping this with Versamark and then I'm going to heat emboss it with black. Now I could leave it as is, of course, but we're talking about a card that is beyond. So we're going to add to it. And right now in the paper crafting industry, watercoloring is super a super hot trend right now so let's do a little bit of watercoloring i'll be honest with you my husband looked at my little sample that i was playing around with and he didn't care for it too much he wanted to know if if i had a kindergartner in here to, to win. i didn't really appreciate that i guess he just doesn't know uh, what the trends are right now so, so i'll let him slide <laughs> so i'm just wetting where the music notes are and then i'm going to pick up some melon mambo ink and I'm just going to drop it, and you can see that color spreading. Pretty cool. I'm going to wipe that off, and then I'm going to go into this Bermuda Bay. And as I'm dipping on, I'm just squeezing just a little bit to pick up to get some extra water flow in there. There is quite a bit of water on here, so it's spreading, and you can have the colors mix a little if you want. You can add a little more, a little less. And actually, I'm going to pick up some more blue and do it on the other side. Obviously, when you're working with a technique like this, make sure you choose colors that are going to mix together and make another color. Like, you might want to do red and yellow, and of course, you're going to come out with orange. Or if you're using colors that are going to mix together and make brown, just don't overlap them. We're going to let this dry. Now that this is dry, I love the look that I achieved here. I hope you guys like it too. I'm going to add some Melon Mambo uh, splattering, which I find really super fun to do. I'm just loading up my brush here with a lot of water, dipping it into the Melon Mambo. I may want to pick up just a little bit more water. I want to make sure it's really wet. And I'm just going to flick my paintbrush a couple times. We'll let that dry, and while that is drying, we're gonna work on a little embellishment. I have a little piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock, which is the same ink color that I used. I have some adhesive paper. This is adhe Adhesive Sheets by Sizzix. We're just gonna peel that backing off, add it to the paper, rub it down, and then pull it off, and now this whole piece of paper is sticky. And we're gonna add some glitter. This is Dazzling Diamonds Glitter by Stampin' Up. I'm rubbing it upside down because I wanna make sure that glitter gets on there really well and then I'm just gonna give it some good hard flicks. Get off that excess glitter. And then I have a little butterfly punch. So we're gonna have a really awesome, super duper sparkly butterfly to add to this project. Now when taking a card design and doing it beyond, I like to add a lot of layering because it really gives a designer touch to your project. And because this is warped, because it had a lot of water on it, I'm adding a lot of adhesive on the back. I just cut this black piece one eighth of an inch larger I'm going to turn it upside down and give it a good rub to hopefully flatten that paper out and get it nice and stuck down. So you can see how 
we've got the same kind of idea going on, the, the main stamped layer mounted, this one is smaller, so it's going to give us some more design options. So I have my card base, I have a basic black layer, and then a piece of designer series paper. Uh, it's Coastal Cabana, which is just a couple shades lighter than that Bermuda Bay color. And we'll layer these together. Now we'll just pull in some dimensionals to pop up the stamped layer. And you can see how all of this layering just adds so much to the card. Now, of course, it's not necessary, but if you want to, like I say, go beyond, this is one way you can do that. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Definitely be adding this butterfly. And then I have this Celebrate Word, which again is another hot trend right now. And I just cut it out of black and we'll add it to the front. It's Celebrate. I'm just adding a little bit of my two-way glue here. And again, you can turn this upside down and rub or just put a piece of scratch paper over it and just rub on top while that glue is settling in and getting this adhered all nicely. I'm gonna grab for my dimensionals again to add it to the back of this butterfly. I think this dimensional is just a tad too big, so we'll just snip it down a little bit. And pull the wings up a little. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and now you can see how easy it is to take a very basic card design and have some fun, add some elements, and go beyond. So if you're interested in learning more, be sure to visit katherinepuller.com. Make sure you're subscribed to my email newsletter list and hop on that Basics and Beyond class. You're going to learn a ton. There's lots of great samples in there. Eight eight or 10, I can't remember, video tutorials, sketches, the whole nine yards. It's a great class and I know you'll love it. So thanks for stopping by. Happy stamping and have a great day.